upcoming show is called Keeping Time. It's a little bit of a double entendre. On the one hand, um, there's sort of the musical sense of keeping time, meaning a sense of rhythm. And uh, on the other hand, there's a little bit of a sense of um, this idea of a blogging of memories, so my own way of keeping uh, the precious moments that go by. So there are two uh, ancient Greek words for time. One of them is kairos and the other one is chronos. And chronos uh, is that chronological time, that sort of wristwatch time that like goes by in nicely metered little minutes one after the other. Um, and we can sort of take stock of how long a particular duration uh, was. No one particular moment weighing more than another. And then the idea of Kairos um, is a perhaps a more numinous sense of time, um, a little bit harder to contain, and it maybe describes that sort of feeling where time can uh, sort of expand or lose its sense of meter. For example, um, sort of falling into flow when I'm uh, engaged in a particular painting, and um, I can you know, be working for hours and it'll seem like five minutes have gone by, or uh, be working for five minutes and I feel like I've been in it for hours. Uh, but we have that option of uh, considering how much time we spend in front of painting, which is not the same thing as if you go to see a movie, it has a particular duration for you to get the whole thing. Uh, your field of vision can take in an entire painting uh, nearly instantaneously, but the more time you spend with it, um, might unfold in different ways. And so I've been trying to create paintings with a sense of quietude. Um, just like I'm able to enter into that expanse of Kairos when I'm in the zone and really in a painting, I would love to sort of somehow contain that sort of expanse of time in the painting. So when it is hanging on a wall later on, it's got a sense of quietude or stillness to it. Um, beyond simply the fact that it's by nature a silent and still thing hanging on the wall.